Hi, and welcome to Thin Black Lines. In this video, we will discuss internals of different backups type in Microsoft SQL Server. Every SQL Server database consists of a master data file, an operating system file with the .mdf extension. Master data file is used to store user data. Extra data file or operating system files with the .mdf extension can be added to a database. Row data files are logically grouped into one or many file groups. Inside every row data file, user data is kept with boundary of 8K data pages, which are further grouped as extents. Log files or operating system files with the .ldf extension are also a necessary part of every database. Log files record changes to data from request by SQL queries. It is hard to imagine not backing up the production database periodically. This facilitates recovery from accidental data deletion or complete database corruption. In addition to recovery, database backups are also necessary. When we need to move a database between different instances and need to archive unused data. SQL Server allows four different types of backups. Full, Referential, Transaction Log and File or File Group Backups. A full database backup copies the entire database from all MDF LDF and NDF operating system files into one operating system file, typically given a .bak file extension. When a full database backup operation starts, the operation will first lock the database, effectively make the raw data files read-only, without making the database inaccessible for ongoing and concurrent user transactions. It does so by placing a marker in the transaction log, indicating what transactions pre-existed and will be copied to the BAK file. After the transaction log marker has been set, the lock is released and the backup files start copying database pages into the .BAK operating system file. The backup operation copies only the pages that contain data, while unused empty pages are skipped. There is the possibility that users will modify data in the database while the backup is in progress. Once the data page copying process is complete, the backup operation will again lock the database, place the end marker in the transaction log, release the lock and start copying appended changes from the transaction log between two markers. This lock tail end Backup means every change which is from the initial marker to the second marker should be part of full backup. In nearly all scenarios, the .bak file is up to date to the moment the backup operation is complete. Full database backups are more disk I.O. intensive, which is why full backups take longer to complete. In between two full backups, Data is secured by backing up only the changes since the most recent full backup. That is possible through differential or transactional backups. The first nine pages of every data file are in the same sequence. One of the nine is the DCM, Differential Change Map. DCM is a special header page which contains information about extents being modified after the last full backup operation. Differential backups start with scanning of DCM pages. Each bit in a DCM page represents a single extent in database file. Extents with bit value 0 means none of its data page is changed since last full backup and are skipped during copy process. Once extent copying process is done, just like in a full backup process, the differential backup process also backs up the transactional log. From most recent full backup marker to bring the database to a stable state at the time that differential operation is complete. Differential backup only contains data that has changed since the most recent full backup. So the operation takes up less space 
and IO time compared to a full backup. Therefore, for a large database, we can add a full database backup with subsequent differential database backups to our backup plan. The transactional log contains serial records for every change made to a database data rows. Once query data changes are committed or rolled back, the data is considered part of an active transactions in log file. When a transactional log backup process starts, the process starts copying inactive transactions records created since the most recent backup operation of the transactional log the most recent full differential or transactional log backup. All transaction data considered inactive data in the transaction log are copied to the transactional log backup operating system file. The transactional log backup operation finishes by making inactive data space as available and ready for reuse. As transactional log file is sequential, so creating a transactional log backup is far more less time and I intensive as compared to full or differential backups. Critical production database are backed up with combination of full, differential and transactional backups. Larger database that consists of multiple files and file groups can be partially backed up by creating file or file group backups. It is recommended to also take transactional log or differential file or file group backups at relatively close in time to file or file group backups. So recovery of a database will be founded on a consistent state backup files.